My name is Shirley Chan and I'm the Chief Executive Officer for Building Opportunities with Business Inner City Society. We're a nonprofit agency in the downtown east side. I'm Lee Davis. I'm, I'm a CEO of Van City Capital, a subsidiary of, of Van City, the credit union. Bob, or Building Opportunities with Business Inner City Society, it's um, a program involving both the federal government, the provincial government, and also the city of Vancouver. So the threefold mandate for Bob um, is first to assist and facilitate employment opportunities within the inner city. It's second to, to support and help businesses currently operating in the inner city or new businesses that want to be established with information, with advice, whatever is required to make them more successful within the inner city. And it's, it's thirdly to um, increase generally the business uh, transactions which are occurring within the inner city. Bob uses an industry clusters approach in how we support businesses and uh, economic development in the inner city. The first is the tourism and hospitality cluster, uh, which has decided they are working to bring uh, more visitor traffic to the heart of the city. My name is Takshing Chow. I'm the president of the VCPIA. Bob has actually helped us out in identifying some of the problems regarding the Chinatown. One of them is the misperceptions regarding Chinatown area. And the Pedicap project was an initiative that targets this misperception. Well, my name is Mark Seeley. I work for the Ministry of Community Services. Now, what was really good about the Pedicab project was that it just basically just started from somebody at the table just coming down with an idea that they'd spoken to somebody informally and just talked about, well, wouldn't it be great if we had pedicabs in the kind of historic communities of uh, Chinatown and Gastown? And so from there, we took those ideas. Um, I was able personally to put a concept paper together and present that back to the table and trying to take trying to take those ideas forward and then working with Bob we were able to sort of nurture that idea and move it forward and look at exactly how this could actually work in reality. How could a pedicab service actually help the communities of Chinatown and Gastown? One of the benefits of the pedicab is for the tourists is they get a different experience. Their, their excitement, their feel of the area is totally different than you ride in a cab or in a big tour bus. Another benefit of this pedicab is we, we hire the local residents in this area where the pedicab, we become the employer and they become a, a contractor, a pedicab rider where they can benefit themselves and as well benefit the community. Bob has been very helpful from the beginning to up to now. Not just ideas, but the channel with the government the channel with other organizations such as um, the tourist Van Tourism Vancouver and other people in the area as well. So they organize the meetings, they help us who to talk to, and we get results. The second cluster is the construction industry cluster, which supports um, the construction and construction related industries in the inner city. My name is Lani Johnson. I work at Building Opportunities with Business. I'm an employment support coordinator. The Community Benefit Agreement is an agreement between Millennium Construction and the City of Vancouver to hire at least 100 people out of the inner city to give $750,000 to training them as well as to buy $15 million worth of goods and services out of the inner city. Bob works with the Vancouver Regional Construction Association as well as with Tradeworks Training Society to put together a training program that will help individuals coming out of the inner city and the downtown east side to transition into work in construction. Uh, I'm Keith Sashon, I'm the president of the Vancouver Regional Construction Association. Well, part of the training program that we're working with, Bob, is uh, we have a, a 5,000 square foot training facility that's part of the uh, Vanock Fabrication Shop. In this 5,000 square foot training, we have an opportunity to, to work with uh, 10 to 12 people from the downtown east side. We put them through a six week training program that's really focused on safety first and uh, foremost. Uh, we give them some uh, orientation to basic hand tools, power tools and we teach them about the culture of construction. A huge benefit of this program is helping developers to bring the benefits of a large project like this locally, specifically in this case to the residents and the businesses uh, in the inner city. After we meet with individuals, 
we connect them either to the pre-employment, to the core construction training, or put them direct to employment. We help them to find a job, get the tools necessary, as well as bus tickets, and even lunches until their first paycheck. Hi, my name is Laszlo Semek. I'm a recent graduate of the CORE program. I'm currently employed by Jetta Mechanical. I'm working at the Olympic Village. Hi, I'm Amanda. I found out about Bob through from a friend of mine. I was given a pamphlet and I went on the internet and looked it up, thought I really liked it, and I called up Pathways for an interview and here I am today. The CORE program has been important to me. It's given me some, um, I, I, it's given me some confidence in using tools give me some uh, confidence in working in, in an environment that requires a fair amount of precision and just, um, you know, just being in an environment that's going to get me ready for the workplace. Bob is giving me that chance to actually learn more skills and better develop myself in the work field. Really looking to uh, build up my um, skills so I can be independent and um, live, you know, have, have choices in my life that I currently don't have. Uh, the third cluster is the Creative Industries cluster and here we have brought together 10 champions who have identified 27 issues in the community that they wish to address that will help to stimulate their businesses. My name is Brian Smith. I work as the Business and Social Enterprise Developer at Building Opportunities with Business. The Creative Industry cluster um, is an opportunity, it's a, it's a really a vehicle for stakeholders in the creative industries, including artists, organizations, businesses in the creative industries, to come together to collaborate around issues that affect them all. Hi, I'm Erwin Ostindi, and I'm a uh, Downtown Eastside artist and resident, and I've been here for most of the last 20 years. Right now I work as the executive director of Gallery Gachet, which is a, an inner city artist-run center in the Downtown Eastside. My connection with Bob lately has been on a couple of projects. One, Bob has helped Gallery Gachet with a marketing and, and business development plan, looking at how uh, the amazing work that we do, the shows that we have, uh, the sales that we have for local artists, how can we actually increase those and provide more sustainability f and uh, increase the, uh, maximize our opportunities. The other experience I have with Bob uh, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a really practical level is uh, with the development of our business planning document for W2. And uh, in just a short while, there'll be a new community media arts center opening at Woodward's. Bob came in at a really strategic moment where the W2 partners needed a business planning document to demonstrate to the city our capacity to deliver this project and uh, look at uh, the stakeholders and developing a strategy for stakeholder engagement. Bob came in, invested a small amount of money that really helped leverage uh, future growth for, for the W2 project. We want to ensure that the people who are here and the businesses who are here will be able to participate and benefit from the economic improvements, from the opportunities that are created. Working with Bob is very exciting and everybody at Bob and BIA are, are very personally connected as well. We are very, we care very much about our community. I think Bob will be successful with this goal of, uh, of economic revitalization for our neighborhood if it continues balancing the need for risk and innovation with the kind of serious uh, uh, grounded practice from business leaders, from elected officials, from residents, and from community organizations all working together. Well, you know, I think, I think Bob um, and, and more importantly, the inner city has untold potential. A big part of that is to create employment. A big part of that is to see more vibrant businesses operate. Um, and a big part, I think, is just to, um, it's just to see a, a healthier community generally. And I, I have the good fortune of working downtown, but working with Bob at their head office at, uh, at Hastings and Main Street. And I can, I can see differences as I walk to Bob meetings on a month-to-month -month basis now over the last three years since I've been involved. So I think, I think we're seeing better things and obviously even better things to come.